got a young squad going over as expected. Who are you most excited to see put on the colours? Oh, really excited to see everyone play. It's just a great opportunity for some of the guys that haven't experienced travel, um, haven't experienced playing any AFL games to get that opportunity and um, put their best foot forward. Um, it's obviously exciting. A few of the got new guys that we've got into the club this year, Gilesy and um, Jets will run out for the first time. So um, they're probably the two that I'm most looking forward to. What is Lewis Jetta going to bring? I think everyone's pretty excited to see him. His pace obviously is a factor. I think it's obvious, pretty, pretty obvious what he's going to bring. Um, his, his speed and his, and his skill. Um, the, the most satisfying thing that Jets has brought to the footy club is um, how quickly he's settled in and um, how quickly he's got involved with our unity. Um, he's a likeable young man and um, you know, hopefully he shines on the field this year. Will we see him in a few different roles throughout the NAM Challenge or are you pretty set on where he'll play? <laughs> Oh, we're pretty we're pretty set on where he's going to play. He'll, he'll play wing half forward, I would imagine, and really get used to playing with guys around that position. He'll he'll do a bit of work with you know Hilly and um, Jamie Bennell and, and those types of things. So we really want to just give him opportunity to get settled, um, get familiarised with the, the players he needs to play with. Has so Chris Marston going down influence that at all? Because we did see him at half back at some training session. Um, yeah, there's a possibility he'll play at half back. We've also played Maston and. Hill and Jamie Bennell and a lot of guys through different positions, so um, we, we expect him to play half forward um, wing, but you know, things change. Justin, you've named Mitch Brown but not McKenzie. Um, do you envisage both of them playing next game? Or? Yeah, we have opportunity to present, so they'll both play next, next week. Um, Brown is probably just a smidge ahead um, of where Easy's at, um, and you know, it's a great opportunity for him to you know, play on some really good forwards this week. Is there a setback with, with Easy? Just because he obviously did his knee first, is it, is it just a rehab thing? Is it? No, no, it's just purely a timing timing thing. Um, he's, they've both come along um, pretty similarly the whole way and uh, we just feel it's probably best prep for Easy to get the next two hit-outs out, hit at home and um, then go into round one. Jayla, how are you feeling about uh, being in charge of troops, making main man? Um, yeah, it's a little bit, been a little bit nerve-wracking. Um, running the team meetings and I'm just grateful that Simo's given me the opportunity um, um, and one that I'll be happy to hand back after this week. <laughs> but it must be something really nice, nice reward because you've been with the club for quite a while, you've been experienced and you've obviously been a very good player in Western Australia. Must, must be a good feeling as well. Yeah, I'm just happy with the opportunity. I mean, um, a big thing about our footy club and, and especially Simo and Voz is that they want to develop people within the footy club and they see this as an opportunity for me to develop. So. Really grateful for that. Saying you'd be happy to give it back, no aspirations of being senior coach. I oh, know I'm, I'm ambitious, but um, you know it's Simo's team. I'm happy doing my job for the team at the moment, and, and I'm happy to keep, continue to learn and continue to have these opportunities. But you know, in, in essence, Simo's the driver, and um, we all just help him out. What's so, the biggest thing about stepping up from a line coach to, to being the senior man for, in the short week that you've done it? Um, I, I guess it's just um, the holistic view. Um, as, a line, as a line coach, you deal with your players and you try and get a certain amount of players ready for the game. But um, I think um, being a senior coach, you have to deal with the whole team. You have to deal with the logistics of dealing with um, fitness staff and, and, and those types of things. So it's just um, getting to step back from my role, um, have a bigger picture focus has been a good experience. So it's fair to say that most guys you like to play two of the three in that challenge game? So. Yeah, we think that's probably best prep. Um, and given that our next tour at home, um, you know, one here and one at, one at Joondalup is probably our best prep for our more senior players. Um, and, you know, I think footy is going down the, the path of, have, um, you know, premierships being won on, on lists, having good lists. So giving guys an opportunity this week to either come in as young fellas and, and, and try their, um, and, and I suppose put their um, footy up against some really talented players in Adelaide, but also it's a really good opportunity for some of our young leaders to take ownership without the senior players. So Will Schofield will be our captain this week. Um, we've got Xavier Ellis, Mitch Brown, um, Sam Butler, they'll have a real good opportunity to lead the group and, um, and step up in that role. Really disappointing for Scott Lossett to hurt his ankle at this stage, given you, you're trying to experiment a little bit with what kind of ruck combination you'll go into the year with. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a setback. Um, all reports is that um, he'll be right to go next week. So. Um, it's a good opportunity for us to test our depth in the ruck um, department. We've brought Joelsy over for that reason and you know, Fraser McGuinness will, will give him a good chop out and it's good development for him as well.
What do you do to cover the loss of Marston in your long term? Oh, well, as I said before, it's probably like for like. We've got Jetta into the club, so he'll fill a gap um, at the moment. It's hard to replace your good players. Masto gets it 30 times a week and uses it really well. So, um, you know, we'll have to plug a few gaps until we get him back. But he's a you know, really diligent player and hopefully he's back within the, you know, eight, ten weeks. Is Jamie Cripp still 50 50 to play this weekend? Yeah, I don't think Cripper will come up. Um, he didn't train fully today and, um, you know, it's, a, it's pretty much um, no risk policy. And we don't want to risk any of our any of our players, especially when we've got younger players that we can give opportunity to, so he likely won't play. Matthew Allen, as a key forward, what, what's excited you about him? He's been named this week. Yeah, he's got um, you know some good endurance. He's got um, really good hands on the lead. Um, he reads the play really well. Um, you know, he's got well, work to do in certain areas, but he's going to be a big boy when he fills out. So um, the way he moves, the way he, you know, the way he gets around the ground is really impressive and. His skills are, are first class, so um, you know, he's got a fair bit of work to do, but it'll be interesting to see how he goes this week. Fair to say, if we take Maston out, it's been a pretty good pre-season. Pretty, most of the senior blokes look like they've pretty well got through pre-season pretty well. Yeah, we've got a lot of minutes into a lot of, a lot of our players. It's probably been Sheed and Redden, the only two that have missed little parts of pre-season, but um, they trained really well this morning. Um, they're on a similar build to each other, so they've helped each other through. and. Um, you know, it's probably a step, of, step ahead of where we were last year. Just on the, um, there's a couple of players to drop out of the squad. Will we definitely see Partington and Tom Cole play? Yeah, we'll definitely, definitely see those two play. Um, you know, Pardo's a, a South Australian boy. It'll be good for him to get back and play in front of his home, home family, oh, well, his family and, you know, friends. And um, both of them have shown a lot throughout the pre-season. So um, it'll be good to give them an opportunity. Justin, just on the ticket stuff, I don't know if you know anything about it, about the... Our price is changing for bigger games or smaller games. How do you feel about <coughs> punters having to play, pay more for certain games and less for others? Oh, mate, I'm worried about coaching the forward line. And, <laughs> and we, I've been worried about um, yeah, coaching, coaching the team for the first time this week, so I haven't really spoken to Gil about ticket prices, so I'll, I'll let him handle that one. <laughs> just, just back on the forward line, are we expecting to see Jack Darling be more flexible this year and perhaps push up <coughs> in the middle a bit more, given you've got the two key defenders back and McGovern can swing forward and things like that? Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting one. Last year, off a really low base, he, we tried to just play him as a forward and um, that limits him a little bit. Um, whether it's playing in the midfield or up the ground or whether it's just rotating through the, the forward line positions more, he's got great endurance so he should be able to get up at half forward and you know, if he gets a taller opponent, take him up there and see and run him around. So I think there's enough flexibility within the forward line um, and then we could have that up our sleeve. We need a bigger body on, on ball but our midfield's coming along really, really well at the moment. Um, if we can get Jack and JK and Lecker and those guys just working really well together and being flexible within the forward line, I think we'll be a step, ahead, a step ahead of where we were last year. You would have worked a bit with Jack last year, is it fair to say he was a bit cooked come finals on the back of no pre-season? Yeah, I think it always catches up to you later in the season when you come in halfway through and um, just as much mentally, I think, as well, because it's really draining um, having to um, do, a, do a big chunk of, of rehab. So he's, he's really fresh at the moment. He's playing really well, training really well. Uh, working his backside off so hopefully he gets those rewards and um, you know it's pretty stressful time when you've have you know got a bit of a stress fracture in your navicular so um, that would have shifted his mind as well so he's back fully fit um, we expect to see the old Jack Darling back. Do you get leaner you say you or is it just a, an illusion? Um, probably an optical illusion I reckon <laughs> Tommy. He might have a bit of a tan which makes him a little bit leaner at the moment. <laughs> um, no, he's, he's definitely um, shown some really good signs with his strength and contested marking, so um, I think he's a little bit stronger, whether he's leaner or, or not, I'm not sure.